So there you are. Hey, I know all your names. My name is George Goble. George Goble? George Goble. George Goble. George Goble. George Goble. George Goble. George Goble. Missouri, Safari, neighbors. Home of Malibu. What are we stopping for, traffic jam? No, this is the Congo River. Three years of this jungle is enough already. Yeah, but it was worth it, Marty. Do you realize we're the only men in history to ever bring back a live Colabrina Marsdithia? Many, many men have tried. Many, many. You mean Emma? Mm-hmm. First dame we run into in three years, and she has to be a snake. Yeah, well, you just wait till the International Society of Ichthyologists and Herpetologists get a look at Emma. They'll go straight up and turn left. Now it's time for your lunch, you little dickens, you. Old Lonesome George is leaving you now, but I want you to remember one thing. It is my fondest hope that someday I can return and look for a mate. For Emma. Salado, salado. Hey, hey, George, come up here. I've got to get my head. Come on, George, let the cap go. We'll get it some other time. Stop a ship. <laughs> Hamilton. Uh, Hamilton. Well, that has a nice, rich sound. You've traveled a thousand miles. Our luck is just about due for a change. I hope so. Is he rich? Is he rich? I'll find out, but uh, he's almost sure to be if he can stop a boat. He's been up a river somewhere. Haven't we all? Oh, I hope he's rich. I hope he thinks he's a wizard at cards. From your mouth to the ears of the Almighty. He is. Hmm? Rich. He's a member of the meatpacking family. Millions. You sure? The steward even quoted the family coat of arms. Hamilton's hot dogs circle the globe. What do you think you're doing? Help! George! George! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get the ladder. Grab the ladder. Come on, come on. Your order, please. Six Hamilton hot dogs. Yes, sir. Six Hamilton's hot dogs. Not smart enough. What did you say? I said they're not smart enough. Every doll in this room is trying to pick him up with a hot dog. They're wasting their time. But he's a snob. I don't mind a snob, but I detest a rich snob. There's something undemocratic about it. Swing him, honey. 
Won't do you any good. He's a bookworm, but swing him anyway. Excuse me, Mr. Hamilton. May I have a light? Well, thanks. I think it would be the better part of discretion to let him ripen on the vine until tomorrow. Uh-uh. We're going to start harvesting tonight. What approach would you suggest? You leave it to me. I'm my father's girl. We'll be sitting at a card table in uh, ten minutes. Five to one. Ten to one. Two to one. You're on. Hundred dollars. Vinny had to settle for a small suite, only seven rooms, because... Oh. I beg your pardon. Oh, that's all right. Why don't you look where you're going? Well, I'm sorry, I'm but... sorry, too. Look what you did to my shoe. The heel is broken, and it's the only pair of shoes I have liked. Well, I'm certainly very, very sorry. I, I, uh, I didn't see you, and I... I, I say I didn't see her. Uh, I mean, I certainly, certainly wouldn't think of doing anything like that deliberately. It was, it was purely an accident, a, a pure accident. I, maybe I can fix it for you. She's right. It's broken. Broken. Well, you can just take me right to my cabin for another pair of slippers. Yes. Uh, well, certainly. I think that's the. The least I can, that's the very least I can do. I think uh, we might say the, the minimum, 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 ma'am. Uh, by the way, my name is Hamilton. Oh, everybody knows that. Nobody's talking about anything else. This is my father, Colonel Harris. And my name is Jean. It's really Eugenia. Come on. What's the matter? It's... It's that perfume. What's the matter with it? Well, there, there's nothing the matter with it. Uh, there's no, it's just that I've been up the Congo River for three years, and uh, they don't use perfume there. They don't? No. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they have one perfume that they use. It's made out of crocodiles' tails. But it isn't like your perfume at all. It isn't? No. Would you like to pick out another pair of shoes for me? Mm -hmm. See anything you like? Mm. Oh, that's a bedroom slipper. Well, I don't know too much about shoes. How about these little fellers? Yes. You've been such a gentleman, you may put them on for me. Mm. One on each foot? If you like. I believe that's customary. Mm -hmm. I certainly hope I didn't hurt you when I tripped. Not at all. Don't you feel well? I feel fine. This is the best I ever felt. What were you doing up the Congo? I was looking for a Colabrina marsditsia. I'm an ophiologist. I thought you were in the meatpacking business. My family is. My father is known as the hot dog king. You must eat an awful lot of hot dogs. Six billion, one million, seven hundred and thirty-two thousand pounds per year. Or enough to stretch from here to the moon and back again. If you care for that sort of thing. Who invented the sausage? Well, it can be traced back to the Babylonians. Babylonians, uh, 1500 B.C. They called it the salsas. What'd they call it? What did they call what? What we were talking about. 
What were we talking about? Sausages. Oh. Well, you can get them anywhere from a swanky Frankie to a teeny weeny. Mm -hmm. You can slit them, stew them, sizzle them, or slice them. Mm -hmm. You can get them barbecued or frozen. Mm -hmm. You can get them broiled or boiled. You can get them on a stick or in a blanket. You can stuff them. You can grill them or grill them. Or get them in a banana. I love to hear you talk. You do? Mm -hmm. It's funny, my mind wasn't really on it, you know. It wasn't. No, I mm -hmm. hate hot dogs. Mm -hmm. I hate... Ever since I was just a little kid about that old, the kids... Kids called me Hotsey. Hotsey Hamilton. I think that's a cute name. Hotsey. When you say it, it, it sounds nice. It does. Well, <clears throat> well, we we better be getting back now. We have. I think we had because, see, when a fella been up a river for three years, and I've been up a river, you know you you forget how how and and when you haven't seen a girl, you know you. I certainly wouldn't want to, uh... There's... You know, there's something... about that perfume. Don't you like my perfume? Like it? I'm cockeyed on it. Well, we better be going. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Well, you certainly took long enough to come back in the same outfit. I'm lucky to have this on at all. Mr. Hamilton has been up a river for three years. <laughs> mm. Oh, please, no, 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 I no, no, sit down. I Pay no attention to, to my daughter's ribaldry. It always comes out in the women in our family. With the exception of myself, the men are all missionaries. And what an exception. Would you folks care for a drink? Oh, won't you join us for a drink? Mm, yes, I will. We'll have whatever Mr. Hamilton's having. Three milks, please. Milk? Milk. Milk? Milk. See, I never take anything strong. It goes right to my head. <laughs> oh. oh. Cards. Uh, have you folks seen this one? <gasps> he does card tricks. Well, in a small way. Oh. Oh, bless my soul. Will you do that again? Oh, yes, please do. All right, I'll do it. We, uh, we have the king of diamonds. Amazing! How do you do that? Well, it's a, it's really a trick. You know, I don't really rub the, you know. It's a, what you do is, uh, you have this card gripped. We grip, or as we say, we palm it. Palm. Oh. We say that, and then uh, we rub it across. And it's really quite simple, you know. But it, you'd be surprised. It takes quite a bit of practice. Oh. Yes, I imagine it does. Uh, waiter. The bridges of Toko Ri. Bridge of San Luis Rey. Uh, don't cross your bridge before you come to it. <laughs> Say, speaking of bridges, how about a rubber of bridge? Oh, you're probably much too good for us. Well, I don't have to play my best, you know, and besides, any way you play, it would be a pleasure playing with you. Well, aren't you sweet? Well, we'll have to get a fourth. Isn't there a, a three-handed bridge game? I seem to remember vaguely. I don't think there is, Daddy. Oh, I beg your pardon, but he's right. He's right. He, he, you're right, sir. There is a three... He's right. And besides, it would be so much cozier. Would you shuffle, sir? Well, I'll try. I find it rather difficult sometimes. Oh, my <laughs> fingers. I don't think you can take a trick. You know, I feel a little guilty about this. Oh, don't let it worry you. It's a good thing we weren't playing for money or you folks would be in bankruptcy. This last hand alone. We have to be playing for money? Oh, no. No, no, I, I never but play But we for... always play for money, dear. Otherwise, it's like swimming with all your clothes on. 
Ten cents a point. That's uh, oh, roughly, roughly five hundred dollars. Oh, really? Now wait a Father's minute. Father's in the oil business, dear. It just keeps bubbling up out of the ground. Oh well, when I heard the title Colonel, I thought that uh, honorary. They conferred it upon me in England when I departed. Everything on the level? I'm way ahead. Go to bed. I ain't sleepy. I'll be around. And he will, too. Who's that gentleman? That's Marty. He mothers me. He's not my real mother. I, mean, I, I just said that for a joke, you know. My, my real mother really is in Connecticut. See, my father got Marty off a truck when I was just a kid to kind of watch over me. He's been sort of a bodyguard and governess and very bad valet ever since. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, there's nothing more intolerable in life than a really bad valet. He's my buddy. Oh, roughly $100, darling. That's rough enough. Won't you pay it for me, Daddy? I'll be glad to. Thanks a lot. Anytime. Since we had no real understanding we were playing for money... Oh, now, don't I'd... worry. I'll get it back. Is that a promise? You can depend on it. Well, I'll certainly be relieved. You certainly will. Well, if you'll forgive me, I think I'll run along and let you finish this interesting conversation. Well, good night, Colonel. Sir. I, uh... I really am awfully sorry about Nonsense. this. It's a mere bagatelle. Good night, Jeannie, dear. Good night, darling. Steady. Would you like to take a little spin around the deck? Oh, I'd love it. You know, I... I like your father. So do I. He's a good card player, too. You really think so? Mm -hmm. I thought he was rather... Uh, I don't want to be rude, but I thought he was a little uneven. He's more uneven sometimes than others. That's what makes him uneven. Now, you, on the other hand, with a little coaching, of course, you you could be terrific. You really think so? Mm-hmm. You have a very definite nose. It's very nice of you. Do you, um, like any of the rest of me? Oh, I I was speaking in a, a card-playing sense, uh, like you say. Of course you were, silly. I was just flirting with you. <sighs> You're not going to faint, are you? No. No. It's that perfume again. I forgot. You're used to the crocodile tail. You know, I wouldn't want you to think that just any old girl could make me feel like this. It's not that I that I have anything against girls, because I, I think they're nice. It's just uh well, you know, sometimes you remind me of the jungle. Like, the way you smell. It's as though there'd been this terrific storm. And all night long, you've been rained upon. And then all the fragrance of a... So, I smell like I've been rained on, do uh, I? Not you personally, ma'am. I was talking. If my about husband you. were alive to protect me, well, how did you? What did you call? You out? wouldn't dare flirt with me, you, you masher. You know what I love about a ship? It's so peaceful and quiet. Sure, it is. Music sounds pretty. Would you, would you like to dance? Well, it's late. I. I'd like to go to bed. You sure are a funny girl for a fellow to meet who's just been up the Congo for three years. Well, heavens to Betsy. We're in the wrong corridor. Yes. And this is your cabin? Yes. You know, I, I guess I, I turned aft when I ordered a turn to port. Well, isn't that a coincidence? It certainly is. Yes. Well, as long as you're here, would you like to come in and see Emma? I don't think I've heard that one. I don't want to wake her up. Of course not. Who? Emma. I thought that was a joke. Emma's no joke. 
Technically, she's a Colobrina Marsvitsia. Oh? I'm taking her back to the... That little Dickens got out again. Who got out again? Emma. She's around here someplace. Be careful where you step. What? Don't be frightened now. <sighs> They're our best friends, really. See? That's the trouble with people. I just do not realize what wonderful, loyal, affectionate, and sometimes even playful little pets snakes can be. Snakes! Oh, my goodness. Now, Emma, look what you did. Now, there's no use getting worried about this. We'll just... And, and look, Emma wouldn't hurt a fly. That's not a very good example. She eats flies, but she's not going to hurt you. Now, just, just take it easy. And we'll... Oh, look what I've done. Hold still, man. Look this up. I don't want to get it dirty. If I can help us. Will you hold us? I'll hold it myself. Where does Marty keep that snake and stuff? Come back. Now, just take it easy. Everything. We are all right. Just uh... There we go. You know, says it here. You just... I told you I heard a scream. Call the captain. What kind of a ship is this? That lucky girl. What's coming off here? What's coming out? What's coming out? I'll tell you what's coming. Thank you. It's nothing to worry about. It's Emma. What? It's Emma. Are you all right, Emma? This isn't Emma. This is a friend of mine. Emma, Emma, Emma's under the bed. Oh, she's got another one under the bed. Look, lady, why don't you just... Are you all right? That snake! Really? What did he do? When I saw that snake crawling, I know just exactly how you must have felt. Shame on you. Shame I'm on. all right. Really, I am. I'm Mr. awfully Howard, this sorry about this. I'm fine. Why don't you get your people? Everybody else. Don't worry. 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 I'm getting out of here. Wait, I'll walk with you. Stop! What, what, oh, please. No, I, look, I've I had just enough. Walk really, George, I've wait, had wait, enough. Wait, I'm not wait, with that wait, thing, wait, please. Wait. I... Oh! I... No, no, you... Oh. Now, you... Let go, Emma. Emma, I said let... That's better. Now, you... Better just stay in there. And you behave yourself. You hear? I'm terribly sorry. I'll take care of everything. Oh, well, um, I'll take care of the lady, but would, would you take Emma and put her in my cabin, please? Emma? Yeah, yes. Cabin 24. Oh, sure. Jean, wake up. Jean, wake up. Jean. Come on now. It's Jack the Ripper again. I am no such a thing. Would you like to explain this, sir? I would love to explain this, but everybody thinks I'm lying anyway. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. It's just an accident. Excuse me. Jean. Jean. Are you alone? Oh. Yes, I'm alone. You don't know what you've done to me. I'm so sorry. I, I wouldn't hurt you for anything in the world. I mean, if there were anybody in the whole world that I wouldn't hurt, you're the one I wouldn't hurt. Well, good night. Oh, no. You're coming in with me. I am? I mean, I am. Naturally. You go in first. Look under the bed. Well, I... Please. Well, it's not... Oh, please. Hurry. Emma wouldn't... The farthest please, thing please. from her mind would... For me. Be. She knows if... Please. She's not... Welcome. This is kind of silly. Emma doesn't even know what cabin you're in. Well, good night. Don't go yet. I couldn't bear being alone. Please. I 
I guess you know I'm awfully sorry about this. I'm sure you didn't mean it, Hot You don't mind waiting, do you? Not at all. Better. Yep. Come sit beside me. Please don't go yet. I couldn't bear being alone. Well, it's, uh, it's getting rather warm. Good night. Stay and comfort me. I'll, I'll be relaxed soon. Thank you. That's all right. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Oh, my. You have a nice neck. Well, you have a very nice neck, too. And good shoulders. I like strong men. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to dream about someone who was very, very strong. Someone who would, who would protect me. It's funny how you build up a picture in your mind of the one you hope to meet someday. But I guess a scientist like you isn't interested in women. I think it's wonderful to be so absorbed in something that the ordinary things don't interest you. I mean, it's wonderful that you have only one thing on your mind. Even if it is snakes. You know, I'm a scientist, but I'm a human scientist. Oh, of course you are, Hotsey. I mean, I'm human. I'm very human. I'm more human than than a lot of humans. Are you married? No. I'm not either. Matter of fact, I'm a bachelor. Haven't you ever thought about getting married? Yeah, but... See, I'm not very good with girls. I mean, uh, I find it difficult to talk to girls. Well, you're talking to me. Yeah, but that's different. Why? Well, with other girls, my father thought that they were going with me because I was Hotsey Hamilton. You see, I'm no Prince Charming. I mean, I'm not romantic. You know, I guess it's because I've always been sort of short and plain. You're not. You should hit anybody who says you're short and plain. Who said it? My father. I hate parents who do that to their kids. Well, it wasn't his fault. He didn't do it to me. I was short and plain when I was born. I think you're very nice. And I think you're very attractive. You're not just saying that because I'm short and plain. No. I think you have a wonderful, special kind of face. You do? Uh-huh. I think I can go to sleep now. Well, it certainly has been exciting talking to you. Good night, Hotsey. Sleep well. Sure I will. Sure I will. Night. Night.
Morning. Thought they threw you overboard. Morning, Marty. You ain't even been to bed yet. I've been having a big battle with myself. Looks like you lost. You can see the blood. You know, I never, ever, ever, ever met a girl like that Jean. The jails are full of them. Don't tell me you've fallen for that dame. She's not a dame. She ain't exactly a man. Well, I got to go along with you there. Your shower's ready. Oh, Marty. Yeah? Will you send two dozen roses to Miss Harris? We're having breakfast together. Here we are. Look at that. Thank you for your flowers. I love them. And the note was a lovely thought. Well, I'm sure glad you liked it. You know, a lot of girls would have thought it was corny. I really meant it. You go around writing those things to strange girls, and you're going to get sued for breach of promise. You're not a strange girl. I mean, you're not a strange girl. I mean... Relax, you... I know what you mean. Well, I'm sure glad, because I'd have a pretty tough time explaining it. But have you ever met someone and looked them right in the eye and known immediately that you could trust them completely? Well, let's see. Not since I was five. Daddy looked me straight in the eye and went out and hocked my tricycle. You know, you have a wonderful sense of humor. Oh, yeah. Always leave them laughing, Harris. That's good, you know. I mean, like last night, it was pretty rough. I mean, it was a sort of a strange coincidence. Well, it was a mess, is what it was. Wasn't your fault. Thanks. How's your father? Truthfully, I've never seen him happier. Well, I'm sure glad. Because if everything was going right for him, then it figures that you'll be happier, too. I think you mean it. Oh, I do. You don't think I'm fresh, do you? No, I, I don't think you're fresh. I'm glad. George. Hmm? Have you ever been married? No, we discussed that last night. Don't you remember? Well, I told last you... night doesn't count. I, I wasn't really paying attention. Tell me again. I'm not married. I'm glad. Does it make any difference if the aces are on the right or the left? I don't think I'll need them, Gerald. I can take this lab with a deck of visiting cards. Oh, it's always better to be on the safe side. The high card cuts are on the right. Four aces on the right, four kings on the left. <laughs> are you decent? Come on in. Good evening. Where have you been all day? Having fun. Real fun. See, I hope your little buddy didn't fall overboard with our $600. He's gone to dress for dinner. And you better do the same thing. Because tonight, we're going to play a little card. I think George is in love with me. Of course he's in love with you. Who is he not to be in love with you? You who have beautified the North Atlantic. Better men than he. You don't get the point. I like him, too. Well, why shouldn't you like him? I think he's going to ask me to marry him. No. No. Yes. Why, that's wonderful, Jean. Oh, that fortunate young man. Fortunate indeed. I just hear his pulses pounding, his ears must be ringing like telephone bells. His hands clammy with excitement. He won't know an ace from a deuce. You weren't still thinking of taking him, were you? What were you thinking of? Look, I don't think you understand, either of you. This is on the up and up. I think I'm in love with the poor fish, snakes and all. He's the most decent human being I've ever met. He's warm and sensitive and real. I kind of touched something in my heart. And... Oh, I give a lot to be. I mean, I'm going to be exactly the way he thinks I am. The way he'd like me to be. I'm sure this is very noble of you, Jean. And you'll go straight to, won't you, dear? Straight to where? You know what I mean. 
Have you forgotten that Hotsey has 600 of our dollars in his kick? Well, I suppose you could take that back. You said it. A little gravy along with it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You'll find I can play a little cards, too. How far are you behind, George? Oh, about $3,000, $3,000 about. You give me a good hand at last. I'm glad you like it. I feel it's only fair to warn you, sir, you're going to have to be pretty good to beat me. Nevertheless, my lad, I'm going to open for a hundred dollars. I'm afraid I'll have to raise you a hundred. Too high for me. Well, you must have something pretty good there. Still, I... <laughs> I'll raise you a hundred. I don't like to see you lose your money, sir, but I cannot let that challenge go unanswered. And a hundred. You're making me very nervous. Still. Two hundred. Hamilton does not know the meaning of the word fear. And a hundred. Harris doesn't know the word defeat. Two hundred. It's getting exciting, isn't it? What are you doing? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, darling. I thought I'd given you six cards. Oh. <laughs> I'll from it. And a uh, hundred. My goodness, I, I hope I can have enough money for this, just, just in case. Ah, yes. Ample. <laughs> I'll raise you a thousand. I think I'll just call you, sir, and show you how hopeless it really is. Cards? I see no necessity. And you, George? And not unless you have another queen, which I doubt. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, what do you know about that? I thought at least one of you had four aces. I have, uh, four queens. And you, sir? I regret to say I was bluffing. Please, spare me the shame of showing you with what. I guess I should have laid my hand down. You don't and... think he minds, do you, dear? Daddy loves to lose. How do you stand now, George? Well, I started with, uh... Let's see, I have, uh... I'm a thousand dollars behind. Good, we're going to stop right there. One more round? All righty. You can play all night if you'd rather do that than be with me. Oh. Well, I'm... I'm afraid, sir, she's going to be firm about this. I'm afraid you don't know just how firm. I'll meet you on A deck in five minutes. I want your word of honor, dear, that you won't play anymore. You have it. Know any other games, Harry? You know, George, as a matter of fact, I feel very guilty winning even a thousand dollars from you. Oh, it's a, it's a drop in the ocean. You know that every time the clock ticks, 28 people bite into 28 hot dogs. So, there you are. But it's the principle of the thing that bothers me. I mean, a father who wins money off his son-in-law, it looks so bad. I tell you what we'll do. Let's get rid of the thousand. Double or nothing. Well, I, I know you want to do the right thing. I'm sure if you tried just once more. 
No, I believe I'd rather just lose the 32000 than have it run up into any real money. But make it out to cash, would you? As a matter of fact, I'd prefer that you didn't mention anything about the whole deal. You can depend on that, my boy. You certainly may. You promised me you weren't going to play anymore. Oh, well, we weren't playing anymore. We were just wiping out my loss. Well, Harry, now that you've taught George not to play double or nothing, what are you going to do with that check? Just this, my darling. I mean... This whole thing was a joke? Of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> you won't forget about our date in a few minutes on A deck. I have a surprise for you. All right, dear. Oh, good night, sir, and thank you for a wonderful evening. Real pleasure. I would think that my own daughter... I had to, dear. I meant what I said. I'm in love with him, and if he asks me, I'm going to marry him. I think you really mean that. I do. Well, if Hotz is what you need to make you happy, you have my blessing. And you and Gerald will come and stay with us? At least part of the time, anyway? No, no, no. Being around Hotsey will be just too tempting. Did you tell him about us yet? No, but I'm going to. Well, just to save Gerald and me from any embarrassment, would you mind waiting until the ship docks before you tell him? All right. Well, he's waiting for me. I'll see you later. Thank you. What's that, darling? Well, it's nice of you to say so, but it isn't really true, you know. Gregory Peck is really a little taller than I am. Just a shade. But he doesn't love you like I do. I don't care how tall he is. What's that, darling? You want me to play for you? Very much. Certainly, darling. I'd be more than... Please play for me, Hotsey. Take a boy like me, take a girl like you, on a moonlight sail, on a sea of blue. It's a night in June, there's a moon above, love is in the air, so they fall in love. And the same thing happens with the birds and the bees, as they flit among the flowers, as they nestle in the trees. Yes, the same thing happens with the birds and the bees. And it's happening to us tonight What the big giraffes Like to do for laughs And orangutans <laughs> Only do in gangs Why a love-starved whale Starts to fan his tail Where the female is you will find a male Well, the same thing happens with the birds and the bees As they flit among the flowers as they nestle in the trees Yes, the same thing happens with the birds and the bees And it's happening to us tonight It's the reason why 
kangaroos jump high. Why the trout and perch swim around and search. And this common urge makes a kitten purr. Where you see a him, you will see a her. And the same thing happens with the birds and the bees As they flit among the flowers as they nestle in the trees Yes, the same thing happens with the birds and the bees And it's happening to us tonight deck alone, who are you pretending to talk to? Nobody. I mean, actually, um, well, I was, I was practicing to, well, it was you. Well, if it was my conversation, I, um, have a right to know what I missed. Oh, well, all right, it's, uh, it's kind of funny. I mean, you can laugh if you want to. I mean, it's funny, you know, that a fellow like me would be saying this to a girl like you. That's because, uh, oh, I guess because I never had anyone who really, uh, well, who really cared. I guess that's why I went to Africa in the first place, because nobody really, well, see, here's the, the funny part. Uh, you wouldn't want to marry me, would you? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to marry me, I... More than I've ever wanted anything in my life. Yeah, well, that's what I figured. I didn't think I just... What? I love you. You don't. Uh-huh. You do? Mm -hmm. You really do? Matter, darling. You don't have an aspirin, do you? No. Why? Well, see, I've never proposed before, and it it gives me a headache. Oh, you. Good morning, sir. May I help you? You'd better. What kind of a ship are you running here? I beg your pardon. Mr. George Hamilton II is getting dry cleaned with his clothes on, and it's my job to see that that don't happen. Oh, I think you're looking for the laundry. Yeah, he's being laundered, all right. The laundry, now, sir, is right down. His old man is a friend of the president of your line. I'd sure hate to see you get bound. Now, see here, now, I know... see here. You carry a little private envelope, don't you? With pictures of all the card sharks that travel on your boat? Shh. Let's have a look at it, Buster. We ain't got much time. I'm not in the habit of being Come intimidated. Come on, let's see I... it. Good morning, Marty. Did you ever see a morning like this? Yeah, October 29th, 1929. Come on, that was the day of the big crash. You said it. How do you want it, in small doses or all at once? What? A dame sure got you hooked, ain't she? Well, we're going to be married. Are you? 
Maybe you better take a look at this, buddy. All righty. Hamilton, triple scotch. Yes, Mr. Soda or water? Triple scotch. Yes, Mr. Hamilton. Morning, hot seat. Hey, I thought you didn't. Well, see, I figured as long as we're engaged now, we we should let our hair down. Of course, I don't have as much hair to let down as a lot of people have to let down. I tipple. That's my secret. Susan never minded. Susan? Susan was my first wife. She was the most understanding. You were divorced. You told me you were never married before. Well, Susan doesn't count. We, we were just kids at the time. Oh. Fill me up. Susan, the reason you went to Africa? Anne. Anne? Anne was my second wife. She came... Your, your second wife? She came after Susan. And I mean, buddy, she came after Susan on a dead run. It was a real dog fight. Ooh, ooh and Ellie was there. Uh, it was our honeymoon. You were married to Ellie? <laughs> Two times. But don't you worry. I can afford you. You can afford me? Certainly. All the other girls got wonderful settlements from Dad. Why didn't you tell me all of this? I just figured you probably like surprises, I figured. Where did you get this? I had it all the time. Playing me for a sucker. Everybody's out for whatever they can get. Let's don't make a big deal out of this thing. Well, I was on the level with you. I, I was going to tell you about sure this. Sure you were. Sure you were. Well, if you were trying to make me feel cheap. You've done it. Congratulations. It's all this. It's all right. It's all right, darling. It's all right. Daddy, Daddy, I loved him. I was on the level with him. A very wise man once said, never give a sucker an even break. be a lesson to all of us. Never trust a man who associates with snakes. <laughs> makes my blood boil when I think we let that sucker off, Scott. I told you not to mix business with pleasure. Don't worry, it'll never happen again. However, I think it might be an exaggeration to say that George Ponsfort Hamilton got off Scott free. What do you mean? I have plans for doubling that at the racetrack. Oh, how did you do that? Don't you remember he showed me how to palm things? Mm. Well, it'll come out like new with a hot iron. <laughs> oh! Oh! He, he 
wouldn't tear it up. Wouldn't be sporting. simple. His mother was a mountain goat, and this is a flat track. Oh, will you two quit snapping at each other? Pardon, monsieur, but is this... It? William? Shh, Harry, at the moment. Harry, of course, Harry. And Gerard? Oui. Oh. And the little girl. Oh, still as pretty as a pack of aces. Hello, Frenchie. Jacques. Jacques, at the moment, please. Jacques. Duc de Montaigne, at your service. Oh, this is certainly a welcome sight to see you again. You know, I've seen nobody, but positively nobody. From our set, of course, in Asia. Uh, where's your pitch, Frenchy? Uh, Jacques, uh, I have an house on the edge of a town called Bridgewood, Connecticut, uh, full of soccer, um, millionaires. It's, it's in the heart of the contract bridge belt. We play a little game here, a little game there. Sometimes my luck is good, sometimes it's better. And what is one thing and another? What a dream. Uh, how do you meet them? Uh, the pigeons? <laughs> My dear fellow, when one is uh, Duc de Montaigne, one does not have to meet them. One merely fights them off with swizzle sticks. <laughs> and just think, there's no hurry. You have them by the ear, like a leaf. <laughs> red hat, get your red hat. Red hat, get your Hamilton hot dog here. Red hat, Hamilton hot dog. That's what I said, Hamilton, Red Hot. Red Hot, get your Hamilton hot dog. Do you know the Hamilton? What's it matter if he does? Do I know the Hamilton? <laughs> I'm stuffed with their hot dogs. Horace Hamilton. What a card player. <laughs> Do you know George? Is that the backward boy who's always toying with toads and things? He's not backward. He's a scientist. Is that the reason? I thought it was peculiar. <laughs> well, it's certainly wonderful to see you again. Now, what do we have in the third? Frenchie. Jacques, darling. Could I come and visit you sometime? Could you come and visit me sometime? As your cousin. As my cousin? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, but, Papa, it is not ridiculous. I have some unfinished business with the young Bluebeard. Know something? I think we are back in the meatpacking business. Oui, Papa. Good evening, Mr. Hamilton. Have our honored guests arrived, Horace? Not yet, my dear, not yet. Excuse me. <laughs> Jacques? Horace, good evening. Hello, boys. Good evening, Horace. <laughs> How you doing, Charlie? Fine, Mr. Hamilton. Don't be afraid to load them up. Don't want anybody to feel any pain. Don't you worry, Mr. Hamilton. Say, these are the best glasses we've got. Oh, no, sir. We have the rare crystal, but I didn't think you'd want come to... Come on, come on. Let's <coughs> use them. <laughs> Say, we're entertaining royalty tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, bonsoir. Is it that this is the Hamilton residence? Yeah. Oh, you're the Frenchies. We've been waiting for you. Ah, bon. Merci mille fois. Hello, ma petite. Vous venez? Oui, papa. Bonsoir. Monsieur le Comte Pierre de Villiers-Lebrun and Mademoiselle la Vicomtesse Louise de Villiers-Lebrun. Oh, oh, no. Hello, hello. <laughs> Pierre, you are magnifique. <laughs> <laughs> Madame and Monsieur Hamilton, may I present my cousin, Le Comte, Pierre Le Brun. Enchanté, Madame. Et Monsieur Hamilton. And his daughter, Louise, Vicontes Le Brun. Enchanté, Madame. <laughs> I'm sure glad to meet you, Duke. Count, Horace. Uh, Count. And, uh, uh your... Uh, what do I call her? Really, Horace? Oh, please. You just call me Louise. Louise? <laughs> Come on, Louise, let's get the introductions over with in a hurry, and then you and I can have a little drink together. Oh, <laughs> this way. Oh, <laughs> 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 Ladies, Mr. Brothers, Count Lebrun, the B Countess Lebrun. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Evans, 
Mr. and Mrs. Bernard. Count down. 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 What you want to do that for? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You better get down here. I told him I wasn't coming to their party. I'm telling you, you are. You get on your monkey suit and get down here. <coughs> Sally, here you oh, are. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> but they're lovely glass. Hmm? No, it's nothing. Just rare crystal. Mm -hmm. The Val Saint Martin, is it not? Yes. Mm -hmm. The President of the Republic uses nothing else. Is that so? Well, yeah, well, go on with your crystal, your, your story. Pardon, Henri. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, after that experience, I knew my English was very nervous. But I had memorized Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> and when Papa and I got into the taxi, the chauffeur said, Look, Duchesse, I don't know where Connecticut is. But I ain't going no farther than Harlem. <laughs> Harlem, Harlem. <laughs> Here comes my son, George. Georgie, I'd like you to meet Count Pierre Lebrun. Enchanté, monsieur. This is Mademoiselle Louise, the Vicountess Lebrun. Très heureuse de faire votre connaissance, monsieur. That means I am very happy to meet you. <laughs> Au revoir. Is your son not feeling well? What's the matter with you? Nothing. Or, I mean, that is... Helen, we... Pardon? I mean, Helen, we met. Oh, but of course. <laughs> your papa is just in Don't you feel well? Well, I... I can't really tell. I think perhaps he means... Haven't you met before somewhere? Yes. Yes. But of course. Let's okay. You had the tiny, tiny little moustache at the time, and you tried to meet me at the dance in the casino, no? No. Well, then I do not know. <laughs> Go on with your story. Uh, 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 Dad, <laughs> could it have been on the SS Southern Queen between here and Africa? No. I am afraid not. I have never been in Afrique. You have never been in Afrique? No. She has never been in Afrique. As a matter of fact, we have never been in North America until three days ago. Well, then, you weren't on the SS Southern Queen. I weren't on the SS Southern Queen. <laughs> what is the matter with you? It's a rinky-dink. George. Were you very much in love with her? He was so much in love with her, he can't remember what she looks like. Horace. Do not let them tease you, Georgie. You can tell me all about her. And my son is brighter on some days than he is on others. Horace, mm. may I propose a toast to your son? Yeah. Merci. To George. George. I love these old French customs. You must use up a lot of glasses in your country. <laughs> oh, you'd love France. A toast to France. No! I mean, get out the other glasses, Charlie. Voilà, ma petite. Merci, papa. A la belle France. A la belle France. La, la belle France. France. <laughs> Dinner, Horace. It's too late! 
<laughs> Come on, Louise, let's put on the feed bag. Hey, grab my arm, we'll fight our way through. Did you ask yourself? No, no. I'm, well, oh. I'm fine. George. Anybody can crave. Not over a table. That table has been there 15 years. No one ever fell over it before. <laughs> well, now the ice is broken. Georgie, you go upstairs and take the nice bath. And I will like you just as much as before. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> Papa? Au revoir. Au revoir. <sighs> it's the same guy and the same dame. Look, if, if they were trying to fool me, she would have come down here alone. One, one of them might be able to fool me. One of them, maybe. But two of them... In the first place, they wouldn't try it together. They're too smart for that. And maybe you're too dumb. Look, you notice that she never tried to say that she had never seen me before. And that's the first thing anyone would say. That's the first thing. She even said, I look familiar. Well, why shouldn't you? You haven't changed. Yeah, well, she wouldn't admit it if I had. See, Marty, if she didn't look so exactly like the other girl, then I'd be suspicious. But, yeah, well, you, you just don't understand psychology. Look, if you were going to pretend now that you were someone else, what's the first thing you do? Well, the I... First thing you do, you try to change yourself completely. You dye your hair or wear glasses. Are you trying to tell me this ain't the same dame that was on the boat? That's right. You're falling for it because you want to fall for it. You're still in love with the dame. I'm still in... You're not very bright, you know what? I had to change my, my other coat. I had, uh, that it was, uh, well, it was a mess is what it was. <laughs> Henri, mm -hmm. do you know I find your son very handsome? You do? Oui? Huh? won't like this. Shut up. In the second butter, I'll see Mr. Burroughs. <laughs> roast beef? You're on the wrong side. Take some roast beef, George. I never eat meat. Well, put a, put a piece on your plate. Oh, no, you must not get that. I'm sorry. Is He's a vegetarian. Know. It drives me insane. <laughs> What do you think you're doing in the dining room? I'm butling. You... Roast beef? Uh, I have no service. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Awfully oh, sorry, George. Oh, oh. Ladies first. You see? Very interesting, the American cooking. It's a formidable. With you. Over here. Thank you. What's the matter? Don't you want any? Take some roast beef. With what? Give him the tools. Sorry. Yeah. Here you are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Will you get that gorilla out of here or must I? With enthusiasm, sir. Uh, it's the same dame, I can tell by the I'll take over from here, Mr. Kennedy. You and who will? I said, I will take over. Oh, get out of here! 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 Beg your pardon, Mr. George. I tell you, it's the same dame. I prefer medium, please. Oh, Elvis, I enjoyed the dinner so much. <laughs> and the floor show. 
Never a dull moment when Georgie's around. Oh. <laughs> Always he's been a strange boy. Yeah. I hope he's all right. Oh, there you are, George. Oh, you're looking very elegant. Thank you. If anything happens to this outfit, though, I'm afraid I'll have to put on a bathing suit. What else could happen? Oh, you'd be... You'd... I'll bet Louise thinks I'm a, a real spook. Oh, no, no. She's used to see young men, how you say, uh, falling for her. It's just that... Well, you two look so much like the people that I met... Gosh. I was hoping you would not mention that again, but since you have... Tell me, the man... Does he resemble me? Oh, well, that was, uh... Oh, yes, sir. I knew it. And the girl, does she have the liberal eyes, hazel brown, the little horitrousse nose? Among other things, mm -hmm. They have returned. Come. They, they have? They have returned, yes. Now, uh, George, I want you to give me your solemn order of honor, never to mention this to a living soul. Look, I don't understand... Shh! The... George. You are rattling the skeleton in my family closet. Well, I didn't mean to... George, you see before you a man whose family is cursed by a black sheep. My twin brother, who was taken to England when he was a little boy, is a thief. A thief? Those who have reason to believe that he is a murderer. A murderer? Shh. I cannot imagine what this man has done to us. Naturally, we have tried to disguise his activities to save the Lebrun reputation, but once he even... Come here. It's all right here. Go ahead. I cannot tell you what a nightmare we have lived in. My brother is very handsome, very dashing, very, how you say, uh, attractive to women. Handsome Harry, he is called. Handsome Harry? Ruth? That's the fellow who was on the boat. But of course. The father of the other girl. But she looks so much like... That is a fact which we must close our minds, a secret we must carry to our grave. You mean that exactly... I cannot admit even to myself the possibility that in both instances, handsome ha Louise knows nothing of this. If she were to find out, it would kill her. You can depend on me, sir. I knew I could trust you. Here she is now. I'll go to her. Oh, you look very nice in your white habit. I'm afraid I got off to a rather clumsy start. Oh, no, I found you most amusing. I'm, I'm not always that clumsy. But I am sure you are not. I would like to get to know you better. Perhaps you know a nice, quiet place where we can be alone and talk. Sure. Sure, the conservatory? I'm wrong. Oh. What's the matter? I am caught. Well, at least this time it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Coffee, mademoiselle? No, no. Hey, what happened? He's done it again. Excuse me, yeah. sir. Excuse me. <sighs> I must apologize for my son. He hasn't been the same since he got back from Africa. All right. Excuse me. Oui. An early Monet, is it not? 30,000 bucks worth. Oh, very beautiful. Ming Dynasty? Yeah, yeah. Say, uh, you a collector too, Count? Oh, in my own small way. Being among so many rich treasures makes my fingers itch. Well, help yourself. <laughs> Say, Jack, uh, you must bring the Count over to our next game. Oh. Yeah, we play a friendly little game of cutthroat gin. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, thank you. No, I never gamble. Don't I? That is Louise's favorite song. It is? Say, do, does she sing? I certainly know she sings. In French? French, Latin, Greek. This gives me a great idea. Excuse me. Louise. Oh, hey, we are here. Your daddy tells me you're quite a singer. Oh, Horace. Oh. I enjoy to sing. <laughs> well, I've just been having an idea. I know it's kind of an imposition with all these people around, but well, I was just thinking, I, I don't but suppose... But of course that... I would. You would? Oh, mais naturellement. I enjoy to sing. I do not believe in being how you call uh, modest. I like to sing. If you want me to sing, I will be very happy to sing for you. <laughs> and you, Horace. <laughs> that is the way we are in France. Excuse me. Of course. Now, quiet, everybody, quiet. La Parisienne, an egg, s'il vous plaît. Oh, this is much better. The vin, maestro? Have you met the lady, La Parisienne? Shady. Ooh, la, 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 la. la Parisienne. I am la femme. All the men My burning kisses drive them crazy. But what a lovely way for someone to go crazy. Say, say. <laughs> My eyes will lure you, but rest assured. When I amour you, you have been amoured. <laughs> Though I have unwrapped you. Like my parfum, you like the way the gown fits, but why not? Scarperelle la Parisienne, and elle parfums me, la Parisienne, and all my diamonds. What I partake of must be I crave. And when I make love, is costume-made. I love baby for the proper rooster. I'm the willing
Charlene. I'm sure glad you decided to come to Connecticut. <laughs> so am I. Well, that's uh, nice of you. It's 10 o'clock. Thank you, Marty. You know, I was just wondering what time it was. Why don't you come back at uh, 11 or, or 2.30 or Labor Day? It's Emma's feeding time. I thought maybe the vice counters would like to feed her. A snake. Oh, sweet. And you call her Emma? Hello, baby. Louise? <laughs> Excuse me. Is Papa? Pardon? Where have you been? We've been worried about you. <sighs> oh. It's the same dame. E oh, Mademoiselle, we'll be able to open our own florist shop. Oh, why can't he send candy? It doesn't matter what he sends. Just let him keep on sending and we'll keep on receiving. I suspect a very strong mercenary streak in you, Gerald. Deplorable. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> well, go ahead and read the card. Thank you. Excuse me, I can't stand sentiment. Gerald, take these things with you. All right. Ah. Meeting you is like the beginning of a long journey. He's going on a long journey, all right. I don't want to seem inquisitive, but just what are you playing? After all, I have rather a large stake here. I'm going to marry him. What? We're going to marry him. But you can't. you ruin me. Relax, Frenchie. We have everything all worked out. You a me. beautiful foolproof scheme. But I... And you get 10% of the action. I do. Has he asked you to marry him yet? He will. When? Soon. It's going to be on a beautiful moonlit night. Georgie and I will go for a long walk in the garden. He'll tell me of his dreams and of his snakes and his unhappy childhood. Oh, and I'll sympathize with him. And before long, we'll be sitting on a bench. And he'll have his arm around me. And he'll say... It seems like I've known you a long, long time, Louise. It's like, it's like we're old, old buddies. We, oui. And it is too bad that we must leave next week, buddy. Buddy, I don't want you to ever leave. Ah, but I must. No, you mustn't. You see, I'm in love with you. No! That comes as quite a shock to you, doesn't it? I knew it, it came as quite a shock to me, too. George? I don't suppose a girl like you would want to marry a, a boy like me. May we? <laughs> Well, you really mean you... Oui? Oh, well, I, I, I want to... You wouldn't lie to me, don't you? No, 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 no. I want to tell my mother. He lives a wide world. Hey, we... Mother! Oh! I was just out in the garden. I proposed to Louise, and she said, yes, but we're going to get married. No, no, no. But I like you. No, no, no. I was out in the garden with Louise, and we're going to be married. 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 <laughs> 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 I sure find it difficult to believe that, that I'm honeymooning with you and you're honeymooning with me. I have Just been. the two of us. I have. All alone. I have. By been. ourselves. I. Alone. 
I have been dreaming of this moment for a long, long time. Yeah. Someone, I mean, someone is at Laporte. Excuse me. Ah, ah, voila, Andre. He could not sleep, so I brought him upstairs. He wanted to say goodnight to his mama. His mama? Mama, mama, mama. What are you doing up here, Andre? Oh, I miss you too, Cherie. I want you to meet your new papa. This? Is Andre. I know this is Andre, but who is Andre? <laughs> Andre is Louise's son. Oh, what a lucky man you are to start a marriage with a little boy. We have a home downstairs. It's too bad that Andre missed the wedding. Yes, it, it, I'm glad he was able to make the honeymoon. <laughs> <clears throat> I see you're having a lot of fun together, so goodbye. Uh, but, well, 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 is this your... You didn't tell me that you had... Had a little boy? Oh, you are angry with me. Va André, va manger. Come with me, Cherie. I wanted to tell you about André. I married a French student when I was a very young girl. But then I said to myself, if I tell Georges, perhaps he will not love me. So I said to myself, Lolo, you wait a little while. But now it is too late. You hate me. Oh, that's silly. I really like children. It's just... Well, it's just that I wasn't expecting one so soon. We're doing pretty good business here. Ah, uh, George, this is Hans. Hans? Hans? Hans. He insisted that I bring him up. He misses Andre very much. They always sleep together. Have a good time. Goodbye. Gruscott. Gruscott. Come on. Mama, you shall be this and me. Oh, he said, Mama, I miss you. Yeah. Oh. Hans is such a good boy. Oh, I know. I know he's a good boy, but who's good boy? He is ours. Ours? Kiss Papa. Come, Hans. Get us and go eat. <laughs> It's a good thing I love kids. Then you do not mind the children? No, but I must admit this isn't exactly the way I pictured my honeymoon. Mm. But when a fellow's never been married, you just don't know what to expect. When you have never been married? This is the biggest thing that ever happened to me. You mean you have never... What you have eaten. Can I join the happy throng? Well, 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 what are you doing here, Marty? I'm sorry to interfere with your honeymoon, but you're going to have to go on it alone. What? Louise? These ain't even her what? kids. She's working the badger game. She's a phony. Badger? Phony? He's a phony, too. If you want me to hit him or anything, Louise. All right, ladies, come and get him. Where's your room? Let's go. A moment. The honeymoon's over. I'll be back with the rest of his clothes. While it is true that these children do not belong to my daughter, it is also true that my daughter is still married to Monsieur Hamilton. See? All the kids and everything was to get you to walk out on it. Why would she want me to walk out on her? So she could put the double whammy on you for some dough. You mean she... She wants money from me? I am afraid so. You don't have to give them a dime. Father, we'll get them tossed out of the country on their ears. No, Come on, George. No, tell her... Uh, tell her to get in touch with my lawyers. I'll tell them to give her whatever she wants. Now, if you'll excuse me, Count... I don't feel very good. I still say it's the same thing. Glad we got that straightened out. 
Look, I'm tired. I'm going home. Going to sleep for a week. Get packed. Get what? Get packed. We're leaving for Africa in the morning. You've done it. You've done it. You've done it. Anything we want. I'll turn off those tears. How about um, half a million for a starter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like a girl who thinks big. A million? No. I don't think we can get very much more. Not a penny. What did you say? He's never been married before. So what? Honey, you don't understand. He's never been married before. He told me all those things on the boat because he was hurt. He loved me. Well, that's fine. He loved me as both girls. Oh, very touching, I'm sure, but... Him. Now, don't start that. We hooked him fair and square, and we're not throwing him back in the water. Pardon? Oh, that's all right. What is the matter with you? Why don't you look where you're going? Good evening. What a pleasant surprise. Oh. Hello, Hotsey. Hotsey. Jean, I, I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you too, Hotsey. Well, now, so, uh, would you excuse us, sir? Gladly. Oh, and will you hold my book? I love you. I've always loved you. Oh, this is my cabin. Hotsy, I'm married. So am I. You thought I didn't know it was the same girl all the time. Sure, I did. <laughs> <laughs> 